Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So today I want to talk about how people only treat you how you allow them to treat you. This was a lesson I learned a really long time ago. Um, I was in an abusive relationship and when I left, I was full of righteous indignation at how could they have treated me the way they did and blah, blah, blah. But part of my healing process, part of my learning and growing from it was realizing that I allowed them to treat me the way that they did, that I was complicit in that relationship. A relationship is never a one-sided thing. It's never one person is mean and the other person is good. It's a dance that you do together. So if you're in a relationship with someone, be it a work relationship or a friend relationship or a romantic relationship or even with a child, and you're struggling because their behavior makes you feel bad about yourself, you have to understand that you are allowing it to happen. You're allowing it, um, and I'm just thinking back as I'm talking here through my history. Um, when I was very young, um, my brother and I used to fight all the time and it was, like a cyclical kind of a fight. It was the same fight that we had over and over again over many years. Um, it normally started with him teasing me about something and me getting upset and oversensitive and getting hurt about it. And I remember my mother saying to me, you know, oh, for goodness sake, Brit, stop being so sensitive. And, and I didn't know how to stop being so sensitive because what he said or did really hurt me or upset me. And obviously, as I've got older, I've learned, hopefully grown a little bit. Um, I, do, I'm, I think I'm still a very sensitive person. It's who I am. It's, I suppose, what makes me empathic. But I don't take what other people say in the same way. I don't allow them to hurt me in the same way that I used to. Partly because I understand people a lot better. I understand that when somebody's trying to hurt me, it's quite often because they're hurting themselves. And... And I, even in that, sort of not allowing people to treat you in a certain way, it doesn't even have to be that you have to fight them or push them away, because in that fighting and pushing them away, quite often you exacerbate the problem. But for me, it was a deep understanding, a deep understanding that when he was in a certain frame of mind, he got relief from trying to, from trying to wind me up. And by not reacting, it wasn't, let me go back, by not taking what he said personally and thereby not getting triggered by it or reacting to it, I was denying him the thing that he was trying to get by doing and saying the things that he did and said. So for me, that change in not allowing people to treat me in a way I don't want to be treated wasn't so much as stopping them from behaving the way that they did, because that would have caused confrontation. And I'm really not a very confrontational person. I, it upsets me, I don't really like it, I don't enjoy it. And bizarrely, some people do. I've never quite understood that. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. But for me, I can disallow someone treating me in a way, in a very peaceful way. Um, the person who I was in the abusive relationship with, one of the things that they loved to do was shout and swear at me down the phone. Um, and one of the very simple things that I said is, if you speak to me like that, I'm just going to hang up. I made it very clear that if that was what was going to happen, that would be my response. I didn't need to get angry about it. I didn't need to get emotional about it. I just refused to let their stuff spill over into my world. It's a little more tricky when you live with someone, but there are lots of options. You can leave, you can go for a walk, you can go to the toilet, close the door. <laughs> There's many different ways to walk away and leave when someone's behaving in a certain way. You could even say, I am not going to speak to you when you shout and scream at me. And then it doesn't matter how loud they shout and scream at you, you know, you just refuse to answer. It can be quite tricky initially, especially if you've done this dance with someone for many years, because there's a desire to play along with the game, because you've been mirroring each other. Not mirroring, I don't think that's necessarily the right word but you've been fitting together two halves to a whole in the dance that you've been doing. So they supply the one part and you supply the other. And whatever they're supplying obviously feeds some need in you to defend yourself, to make yourself feel bad about yourself, whatever it is. And by choosing not to respond, 
it goes against the grain of what you've done so far. So it might be tricky at first. What I found really helpful is to share my intentions. So not necessarily to share it in the heat of the moment, but maybe afterwards when things have cooled down, to say to the person, in future, if you speak to me in that way, or if you raise your voice, or if you do X, Y, and Z, my response is going to be this. And then when it happens the next time, you've already stated what your response is going to be. You've done it in a calm way. You've done it in a quiet way, in a peaceful way. So when you choose to stick to what you've decided, it's not a surprise to the other person. However, that is not to say that they're going to take it lying down or that they're going to be happy about the way that you've done it. You might find a little bit like a toddler tries out different types of behavior to get the best reaction from their parents. Your person that you're in this relationship with, whatever relationship it happens to be, will try out other tactics because they want a response from you. And if the one that they, the hard, tried and true and tested method doesn't work, then they'll put another jacket on and try another method. They might try being nice. They might try um, finding things to criticize you about. They might start um, being sarcastic and trying to make you a joke. They might um, share that someone else has said something about you. They'll try a number of different tactics, but stick with it because what they're wanting is a response. And if you deny them that response, they won't have the satisfaction of you fitting into that dance pattern that they've been doing with you over the years. And eventually they'll have to change the behavior because the only reason they're doing it is to get a reaction. No reaction, there's no point doing the behavior. And then you can start working with it. And hopefully in quiet times when you're both not over emotional, you can choose different ways to tackle it and to interact with it. Obviously, if it's serious physical abuse um, or even really serious emotional abuse, please seek proper, um, proper help. Um, I didn't actually realize that my relationship was abusive until I actually went to counseling to try and save the relationship. It was only then that the counselor said to me, you do realize you're in an abusive relationship. I had no idea. <laughs> I never felt like I was somebody who would be in an abusive relationship. I've always felt quite strong and quite self-confident, um, but I think it can happen to anyone. So if you're in any doubt, go and speak to a professional and find out and get support, proper support, um, in case that you put yourself in harm, harm's way. But for the rest of us who are dealing with normal relationship issues, what I've been sharing with you should help. Um, I hope you, and just remember that nobody deserves to be treated badly, not you, not anyone else. People should be treated with respect and with kindness, but only you can, can, de can demand that. It's up to you to make sure that that is how you're treated and how you treat others as well. As usual, there's loads of links in the show notes below, links to my website if you want to contact me for coaching, links to my online courses, and links to the Ho'oponopono monthly clearing session that I'm going to be doing. So much love from me to you, and have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.